Hey guys, welcome back. So we're going to start off uh, from where we left uh, off last time. And uh, we were taking a signature uh, from one of these functions here to get client state. Uh, we did that and we verified it and, and it, it's working. And now we want to uh, go ahead and, and sort of understand what's in client state and what we can use and how to get that. So the first thing I want you to do is get the address of this one here. This is the pointer to client state. We're going to need it later. So just copy it and store it apart. Then we're going to move over to uh, the source engine uh, base. And we're going to take a look at the client state. So you're going to want to find it again like we did last time here. Source main engine client. and um, here it is, and you can take a look at anything here. Anything that piques your interest, you can get it. Uh, however, uh, as a first thing, uh, we want to try and get the view angles. The view angles are going to be useful for pretty much anything you're going to do. So, uh, to get to view angles, we need to figure out where it is. So, um, as we did last time, we're going to try and find usages and see if there's any strings related uh, that we can look up. Um, and I'm going to take this one. Uh, you're going to probably go ahead and go through each and all of those. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll take this one here. And then you see it's being used. Uh, and we do not see any strings here. However, we can also go ahead and check who uses set view angles. We do that. And we get an even bigger list. And same thing here. Uh, you're going to want to go through uh, some of them or all of them depending on how lucky you are and eventually you're going to find a string that you can use now I know for a fact that it's going to be in here for sure so we're going to take a look at that one here alright so reset view angles uh, there's no string in here however reset view angles is used right here and this one here has couple strings. That's very good. So we're going to go ahead and copy uh, the one of the two strings. I don't think it matters too much. And then we're going to go ahead and open client DLL, not engine DLL. So client DLL. And then we're going to search for a string. Hold on a second. Search for a string. And um, let's get to it. You might end up here and cross reference using X. And woohoo, there's only one occurrence. And we have it here. Now, let's take a look at the disassembly or decompiled code. Uh, and, um, and this kind of looks like the function we were looking at here. Command reset, we have the view animation reset and reset view angles. And in here we have reset view angles. And uh, you might not actually see this one because I already named it. So I'm going to just delete it for a moment. You're going to see that. And what you want to do is double click that. And here you have it. Um, now you know that it's reset view angles because we, we found that. So you can go ahead and rename it again. And uh, from here, um, you're going to see that the function is declaring an angle, instantiating it, uh, and, um, and then it's passing it down to set view angles, which is an interesting function we want to we wanna access, right? So again, here, uh, set view angles is at... Uh, is called here and this is the engine interface plus 80 and you wanna you wanna save this plus 80 note it apart because we're gonna use it later this is an offset uh, that you're gonna wanna use to find the uh, vtable function uh, implemented in the engine class so now that we have this one here, uh, we can go ahead and open engine DLL because that's where we're going to do the rest of the work.
and um, so from here you're gonna wanna uh, go to plugins and if you don't have it you should install it you're gonna run class informer I already ran it so I'm just gonna reload the results uh, and from here you wanna hit control F and, um, and we're gonna try and find C engine client which is the uh, implementation that we're gonna be using that contains the function okay so we clicked on it and here we are we're right here okay so at this point uh, we know that the offset was 80 and we know that the base address of the uh, class or the first function is over here so we're gonna copy this address and we're gonna do some math uh, luckily you have a console here that you can use and you can just do hex and then 0x that plus 80 okay and that's gonna give you a result and this is the address you're gonna find interesting stuff so we go here and pretend you don't see this Let me just rename it and so you're gonna have this one here and in this we know for a fact that it's the function at index 80 which was set view angles so that's the one we looked up so you can right click it rename it and boom you have it now you can go in it and you can disassemble uh, sorry decompile and again you're not gonna have these set already uh, but it doesn't really matter you're gonna have a random gibberish in here uh, and um, or gibberish is it gibberish <laughs> and um, and so basically the function is the same that you're gonna find over here uh, let's go back here set view angles we're gonna set X Y and Z and we do see X Y and Z being set variable 1 2 and 3 and they're floats we know that a vector is composed of three floats in this case at least and and so we do have the view angles and that's pretty much it in a way now obviously you need an address to this one here so you're gonna wanna double click uh, this one here we, we don't need to get the address for all three of them because you can read them as a single vector of uh, three floats and they're contigu contiguous in in memory so um, you have them here see one two three right one after each other and so what you're gonna do is you're gonna copy this address which is the address of the view angles and, um, and at this point you wanna grab the offset that, I'm, that I had you copy and uh, we're gonna do some more math so we do that and we have the view angles and 0x view angles subtract the offset of client state and let, let me go grab it and um, it, just so that you know uh, IDA sort of offsets everything by what is it on one million I think uh, as you see one zero uh, from here so if you're grabbing offsets from from I don't know your your console or what whatsoever, just remember that you might have to trim the leading ten. So anyways, you subtract that, and you get an offset. And so this is the offset of uh, your view angles, uh, starting from client state. So you go ahead and grab that and copy it somewhere else because you're gonna wanna use it and basically uh, your implementation uh, comes right after because you don't need to reverse anything else anymore so this is gonna be sort of what you want to do you're gonna wanna define the Clara class and um, the class is gonna have your view angles in it uh, with the right padding and um, 
the padding, uh, you, you should probably do it uh, the normal way as everyone else does it. Although I uh, found a macro that's kind of useful and makes it a little bit more, you know, presentable. Anyways, you do that, you have client state, and then you just get the address for uh, client state, and and you basically cast it and get the pointer and cast it into a client state. So you have a client state instance. And then from there, you can just access your view angles. And so to test out the theory, I'm just going to inject my code, my DLL, and um, ignore my client state 2 here. And there we have them, the view angles. So it works. Uh, this is not the only way that you can get to view angles. There's so many different ways. And if you came just for this, uh, you can, I mean, uh, you can you can stop the video now. Thank you for watching. But if you want to find another way on how to get the view angles, stick with me. So we're going to go back to here. We're going to basically restart. And let me just grab this so that I can follow through as well. So we're going to find the usages. And the second one that we're going to be looking at is going to be Test view animation and get view ang get view angles. Is it get view angles? So get view angles. This is slightly different uh, from the previous one. And again, we find usages and um, and this one is going to go to task view animation. Yeah, it's task view animation. So, uh, smart me just wrote down the function names and the lines in here, which is not exactly where uh, we would find it here. Um, so, again, we have strings here. And this is right in, inside the function. So, it's a little bit easier. You don't have to go the extra mile. Um, so we're going to copy this one here. You can copy the whole thing. Again, you go back to client and search for that. Because uh, we're, not, we're not in the right. There we go. Got to be sure you're in the right tab. Otherwise, it's not going to work. So you're going to end up here cross-reference and you have three of them. Now uh, you can go and decompile each one of them uh, and we do that and you're gonna wanna compare or you know sort of understand what, what this is doing and uh, and see if it makes any sense based from what you see over here. So you have an if, you have an else, you, then you send in a message and this looks like it's got a couple extra ifs and else and it's got a return value it's an integer I mean it kinda looks like it's not the one so yeah no problem we go back and cross-reference again you go to the second one same thing again this one looks a little bit more than what we have. So there's a more than two, more equals than two. There's nothing here of such. So that's not it. And we tried the first one. This one looks a little bit shorter, which is kind of good. And uh, it doesn't take any parameters in here, which is the same as in here. We just have void. There's an if statement. Now it's a little bit okay, so it checks if if nil and if it's not nil, then it does the what is it? No, if what is this? Yeah, pointer. If not then it does that. Okay, yeah, exactly. So it, it kind of swapped things around because the compiler um, optimizes code. So you're not going to find exactly the same thing. 
but if you follow the logic here it's gonna well it's definitely gonna be that it does the same exact thing so uh, again we have the 76 which is the offset uh, from uh, for the uh, function and you're gonna wanna type it out uh, put put it somewhere then you're gonna swap and go back to engine and uh, from engine you're gonna wanna go to the address we we calculated over here Ooh, not the, not this one scroll up a little bit yeah this one here uh, with the class informer remember you go here and then again do the math instead of plus 80 we had uh, 79 not 76 grab that and you end up being here I already renamed it you go in here decompile it and again you have view angles X Y and Z you're, you're not gonna see the same thing but it doesn't matter it's those and double click them and here you have the address again okay so hopefully even though you know I'm not experienced and my explanation could be a little bit messy here and there hopefully you get the gist of it you you, you understand what's happening and you can get the to, to those uh, offsets and, and addresses yourself without relying on copy pasting from haze dumper or you know whatever else um, I want to thank you uh, for watching and I also want to thank uh, Ruski for helping me out uh, and showing me how to go ahead and do this hopefully you can just uh, the next person that's gonna wonder the same thing is gonna be able to just look at my video and figure it all out alright till next time peace out